Hello, this is Hello from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce you to the settings that are in the Grove add-on that helps you get fuller trees uh, a little bit faster in Blender. Now, I've done the tutorial on this before, but that was just an introduction. This is more in-depth into the Grove add-on. Now, the Grove has a lot of settings in it, you know, for creating trees when it comes to moisture and lighting and density and things like that. But if you just want to skip all that stuff and just want to go straight to creating a full, fully full foliaged tree, this is how to do it. Now, if you've installed it in Blender, now let's del delete this uh, default cube here. Let me press delete on my keyboard. And hopefully it's working. There we go. And I'm going to click file because you have to append the foliage or the tree or the leaves into uh, your scene before you can actually use them. And then you go down to append, and you navigate to where these are. These are net are located within your Grove add-on folder. So once you've downloaded the Grove, inside Grove, the Grove add-on are, are these uh, elements here. You can go back up. Let me go up here. So you have bark textures here, and the in the Grove folder, and you have all these, <coughs> excuse me, all these uh, leaves here. I'm gonna click on the first one. Double click on that. And then you want to click on, you can choose from any of these three. I'm going to go with the first one, the beach fall twig. Double click on that. And you want to go to the object folder. So double click on that. And you're going to left click and drag over these two. Because you want the, um, I'm just going to pronounce this, this a pickle. I don't know if that's the right, right pronunciation, but I'm just going to go with that. And lateral. And you want to click on append. And then once you've done that, you'll look in your scene, you'll see the, the uh, objects that you just appended into your scene are these leaves here. And for these leaves to be used on the trees, you're going to go to Add New Grove. Grove. I'm going to click, I'm going to stick with the default ash tree. You can use any tree you want, but I'm going to stick with the default one for the sake of this tutorial. And then the apical, if I'm pronouncing this wrong, uh, someone could correct me in the comments, but the apical twig, I'm going to click on that uh, space there, that option. I'm going to choose the uh, first option there, and the lateral twig, the same thing, uh, lateral twig. Now with this, if we were to just uh, maybe go with these settings, let's crank up the years to 12. Enter. And if we just went with these uh, basic parameters, the default parameters here, and like I said before, there are a lot of them, and we just clicked on grow. It'll grow a tree for you, but the only thing is, it's really sparse looking. You know, there's not really much to it in terms of the density in, in the foliage. I think that's how to pronounce that in the foliage. Foliage or foliage. There's not many leaves on the tree. And you don't want to end up going through all these uh, options here because there are a lot of them and trying to deal with, well, which one is going to give me the, a full tree off the bat here. I'm going to show you the settings that you can use to actually get a fully foliaged tree. So let's click restart. Now the first thing you want to do after you've appended the leaves is that you want to, let me see, you want to increase the density right here all the way up to one. And the next thing you want to do, increase the limit all the way up to 2, or 0.2. And then you want to put a check mark in this box that says side twigs on end. Because at the end of the branches, you want there to be, be more branches, so to so speak, more thinner branches. The next thing you want to do, is, is which we've already done, is increase the uh, years to 12. Because we want a somewhat of a mature tree. And then the drop option here, I'm going to toggle down on that. You want to increase the stick around, which is at the bottom. You can pump that up to one. And in the grow tab, which is down here, you want to increase the shade elongation. Now the reason why you want, why you want to click on the stick around is because you want the uh, lower branches of the tree 
that don't have that are like dying off you want those to stay because once those stay the branches give the trees a fuller look to them so we're going to click on uh, grow again you'll see the difference from the first time click grow and look at the difference this is a lot fuller than the first time that we did it so if you want to get a fuller tree in the Grove add-on right off the bat without having to mess with all the parameters that it has to offer you increase the density increase the limit uh, put a check mark and the side twigs on end option you know increase the years to 12 14 years that helps with the more mature tree in the drop tab increase the stick around and then the grow tab increase the shade allocation and then boom you have yourself a full tree in the grove add-on so yeah that's just today's uh quick tip and hope it was helpful to use, uh, those of you who have been watching or have watched the video and once again i really appreciate you guys who have been watching the videos really thank you guys to have subscribed to the channel and those of you who are, are subscribing now and those of you who will subscribe in the future and i will see you guys on the next one all right adios